Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are just going to going into this application and we will try to see what all different ways to debug it, how to inspect the components, all these different options. Okay. So when you do the inspect, right click and when you click on page source, this is what we are getting from this server side rendered application. I just, what I did is I just uh, minified and uh, put this content here. I just formatted the HTML content and this is how it looked like. Here you can see all the meta tags which we have added now is visible on this HTML head tag. Okay. And here you can see these preload JavaScript. So these JavaScripts which are defined in the head will get loaded as soon as page starts loaded. Okay. These are actually as different chunks and you can see something in the bottom. These are being loaded asynchronously. Right. So these are the different chunks which are getting loaded. And this is our HTML content. And you can also see the JSX styles. Here is our HTML content. You can see, you can see this is what we are displaying. So whenever this page is getting loaded, right, this HTML has the CSS directly with it. So this page become visible to the user as soon as our browser is fetching this document. Okay. Moving further, we can talk about uh, other aspects about you know, next years, like how to uh, debug it and all. You can just inspect it and here we can use the react dev tool only to check the component hierarchy. This is our component and we are, we can use uh, this next JS router and all these aspects. Here you can see our components. This is head which we are getting from Next.js head, Next.js link, Next.js router. So these are the post link, our own components. All right, and this is the link. This is how we are creating a link. Now, if we go back to our link, how we are generating links from the blogs. Here you can see we are passing the title and we are creating these dynamic links where you will see on the browser, the slug content and the route it is pointing to will be post. So if you just see our application, if you go to blog and try to click on it, right? I actually put a debugger here so you can actually move it. Here you can see our route URL is looking like react post. It doesn't mean that you should have a react post.js. It's aliasing we have done. We have created alias link as this. So this will be visible on the browser, but actual target, it will look for post.js and title you are passing is a query parameter, right? So there are many ways to extract these query parameters. Now let's go to post here. Either you can use with router as a higher order component or what you can do is you can also use use router. Okay. Don't pass anything here. In this, what we can do is we are rendering, we are returning this. I mean, we can, we can have explicit return statement. Here we can use router. So here we can have a use router from next JS router. Here what we need to do is we need to use, we need to import it from next router. Now from this router, we can get whatever is required and this is what we are returning. Okay, this is bracket, so we don't need this now. Here we can also get the required parameter like required key. We can actually say router.query.title. Okay, this we are already getting so we can use this directly. Router.query.title and we are just printing it. Now what we can do is we are actually passing the route parameters, right? So here let's say we are going to pass a different parameters. Uh, let's say test and something like this. Let's say it is react. This is angular. View. Okay. And this we are passing as a title. I think this is happening because I installed one plugin. Let's remove this. Okay. Uh, this is fine. So we are passing this title. Now what I will do is 
I will go to this component. I will go to block component and here we can have one simple JSON. In that JSON we will have all these properties like based on the query parameter we need to populate some data, right? So we can create some uh, framework or js.json something like this and it has this react consider there is an angular and there is a uejs simple javascript okay this we will be importing so i am importing this in this post.json and what i am doing is import posts from i can just specify the json okay js.json now i got all the posts and based on title we can print the title and values right so here what i will do is const uh, key i mean the title which we are getting title we are getting here so if key is there if we got the key which is not null then what we will say is const data and we will just do posts and we will pass the key key will be angular view or react and we will get the data so here we can just do the conditional output if uh, we got the data and we got the key then we can return from here return layout title or something here we can get the data and title so there are two properties in the in our json title and content right so here we can just pass data dot title and data dot content right if we don't have a key then we just need to if you are not able to return anything then just simple return paragraph there you can return anything whatever you want so this is how you can actually pass the query parameter and in this case we don't need to use with router because we are using use router here so use router from the blog we will we are passing this title react angular uejs this is routed to this page now in the post.js we are capturing the title uh, query parameter right in this post.js we are using use router and router.query.title we got the value based on that key we are actually capturing the object from js.json right react angular so it is giving us the object having title and content if all good if we are able to get the key and we got the data then i mean you can put a condition here not there so key will be there and data will be there so i mean this is just a conditional check if you got data if you have data then return this otherwise return that okay simple checks that will save you from any kind of uh, undefined error okay reference error okay so this is how we are able to access the key value pairs like title and content from json based on the query parameter and we already talked about how to debug it so for debug you can actually put a debugger something like this okay or what you can do is you can actually use console.log that is native whenever you wanted to get something we can just do console.log to check if value is coming or not okay all the blogs it is same as the react right so consider that you have these blogs right title and content so if you wanted to capture all these blogs i i wanted to just modify it blogs from i have js.json and i wanted to iterate this what this js.json contains an object right so i will iterate on to this object and i will just print these uli tags right so what you can do is here we can iterate inside ul so it is same what we do in the react like object dot i can do object dot entries it will give me the array of key value pair 
blocks it will give me the array so i can do a map onto this and i will get the value and in index both and just write error function and render your content inside it so what we are rendering is this post link and we just pass the title and content here you also need to pass the key which is index for each and every child component slug is we are going to get uh, the slug so blogs is this so what slug we are going to get the property name key name key and value right so we will go to blogs and here you can actually customize the title values and all so here key is the index and value you can set value i dot title right so here value key value pair so this blocks will give us the key value pair so you can actually dynamically populate the values of it so value of so i mean it is uh, object so it will give us the key value pair value dot index something like this because it's an object it will give you the key value pair so you will actually at dynamically you will be able to populate this in the ul ally and post link this is the component and it is just getting the title and slug we are passing both the properties title and slug so you can add one more properties here okay the thing is it can be called you can call it as a slug now in the blog.js when you do so let's try to say this what object.entries will give you sometimes it's good that you do some javascript okay so you know object.entries of this particular object will give me the array right this is the array i got now i can do a map onto it map i can pass key uh, value comma index and if i just try to print what i am getting from this value console.log value sorry it should be simply value you can see i am getting this array which having this string as an index react and in the on the first index it is having title and key property right uh, so we have to pass one as an index for each and every property for one dot title slug and all okay uh, let's change our code value of uh, one dot title here also it will be value of one dot slug okay this is how it works right now everything is good okay so just wanted to talk about a little bit on the react component rendering side how we are passing the route parameter and how we are capturing it at the post components and how you can actually import the json and based on the key value pair you can actually extract the data from it okay thanks everyone